and tell you a little bit about Digital Skills School, um, just so that you can have an understanding. All right, so hello everyone and welcome to the Digital Skills School Data Analytics Free Crash Course organized by Digital Skills School. Um, we are a tech school in Yaba, Lagos, and um, it is such an amazing pleasure to um, be able to bring these kinds of classes to you, these kinds of learnings to you, um, because we are very, very passionate as a school. We're very passionate about helping young people um, come out of unemployment. We're very, very passionate about helping young people come out of, you know, unemployment is a very, very big issue in our country today. And one of the things we, we do is the fact that we help um, young people transition into um, tech careers. Now, we know that tech is one of the easiest ways, from experience, tech is one of the easiest ways people can trans, people get employed, right? It's one of the easiest ways people get employed as of today. As of today, I hope you can actually see my screen. All right, so, um, so basically, that is why we are um, we create these courses. We create career development opportunities for young people to take advantage of, right? And we've seen situations where people learn courses like, for example, UI UX design. Um, people learn things like um, um, data analytics, project management, and within two months, within three months, you know, they are already working. And some of our students, right, have actually gone ahead to have um, success stories just like that. I hope everyone can hear me and I hope everyone can see my screen very, very clearly. But I'm just giving like a brief introduction for this particular course. So this is our Instagram page. Our Instagram page is where you can find a lot of materials, a lot. I mean, a lot of materials. We, we invest a lot in trying to create content that can help you guys get to understand more about tech. So, I mean, we, we've been doing, take for example, this is a series we did on how to get the best out of your virtual learning experience, right? We did another series on, uh, we are currently doing a series on data analytics. We're gonna start another series very soon on, on um, project management. Just, these are videos that we just create to educate you guys. And so please, if you're not following Digital Skills School on Instagram, I suggest that you visit, Insta open your Instagram app right now and search for Digital Skills School because you're gonna be getting loads and loads of fantastic, informative video you can also check our youtube channel out we are also available on youtube let me see if i can get that youtube channel um all done yeah okay look at channel okay that's it so if you can also go on our youtube channel right now and search for dd channel skill school um, you are going to see the digital skills where you can subscribe. We have a lot of videos, a lot of videos, a lot of videos, you know, so many of them, right, that we've created to educate you. So if you're having um, questions on about different tech careers and different things, this is a video on project management. This is a video on data analytics. We did this a video on full stack programming, you know. So we, we have different videos of different tech skills that you can watch. Of course, this is, we are currently streaming on YouTube right now. So this is what, yeah, um, this is the video that, and so after this class, right, this video is going to be available on YouTube for you. This class is going to be available on YouTube again for you to um, go ahead and watch. And so um, my name is Coach Atta, and um, I basically run activities in the school. And of course, if you know, some of you have come have come to us from WhatsApp, um, you, Got, got our information from WhatsApp because we use majorly WhatsApp to communicate with our students. And so, of course, you can always reach us via WhatsApp. Of course, you know our um, phone numbers already. So, of course, we have someone at the other end of the phone always ready to answer your questions and um, get you all registered and get you the required information you need on any other course. Right. And of course, for this month of um, March, we have the data analytics eight weeks course starting next week and we also have the project management course starting on the 29th of march so without further ado let me let our tutor for the day take over this class and um just like i said before at the beginning of this class if you are 
joining this class with your lap with your phone with your phone it's advisable that you switch to your laptop uh, immediately um because the tutor is going to be sharing his screen and really really going in depth into teaching us some basic things about data analytics today and so and you, that is something that you might want to be viewing from your laptop and not from your phone so please if you can quickly make the switch from your phone to your laptop it will be much 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 appreciated because you will gain much more from it our tutor today is nosa an amazing an amazing tutor he has worked for us um, for a couple of um, months now our last tutor actually um you know jackpot <laughs> left the country to take other opportunities outside the country as a data analyst and so and so Mr. Nose has been teaching with us for some couple of months now and he's also a visiting lecturer at the University of Port Harcourt where he teaches data analytics also um not just to students but to lecturers as well because apparently lecturers also need to learn data analytics and so he's very good and he also works freelance for companies some of them are in Nigeria some of them are outside the country so you are in very very safe hands this afternoon Mr. Nosa I hope I did justice to your introduction I'll structure my screen now so that Mr. Nosa can take over the class and start sharing his screen and take it from here Mr. Nosa over to you hello hello good afternoon everyone please can you hear me confirm you can hear me let me turn on my video hello can you hear me yes sir good afternoon sir okay. yes sir can you hear me? all right um thank you very much um coach hatta uh i really do hope that this is going to be an amazing session uh, first off, let's just do a brief introduction. I'd love to know the persons we are going to be learning together because I, I don't see myself as a tutor, actually. I, I, I love to see myself as a student as well, right? So we are going to be learning, you know, these things we don't learn, you don't learn to the um, to the brim. You keep learning. So, yes. Um, hi, Okafor Winifred. Can we know you, please? Hello. Hey, good afternoon, hey, everyone. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, my name is Winifred Okafor. I currently work with a CBO, Community Based Organization, as a data person. Um, oh, yeah. yeah. So I hope to um, that this section with you guys today would actually um, put me on that pedestal if I want to enroll for the course. I've not been in the WhatsApp group for a long, for a number, for a time now, for a while now. I've okay. not really made up my mind, but I really want to pick up that data analytics um, skills. Yeah. Oh, great. Great to, good to have you here, uh, Madam Winifred. Hi, um, at the best in Ismail. Please pardon me if I'm if I'm not pronouncing your name very well. Yeah, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yeah. My, my name is Adibesh Ismail Bayo. Oh, okay. Uh, I just graduated from University of Abuja, BSc Mathematics, PR and Applied Mathematics. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So, so I'm really interested in this course because I want to further more, at least so I can know one or two things in tech. So that is why I want to enroll for the data analytic course. Okay, you're very, very much welcome, and I can vouch, I can see that this is the best place to be. Uh, right, you're welcome you. once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So, yeah. Um, hi, Alpha Ruby. Good evening. Hello, are you there, Alpha Ruby? Yes. Okay. Hello, everyone. Yeah. Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good My evening. name is Adepo Insola. If you're lower, oh, wow. I'm okay. a digital marketer and also a creative director for Gemstone Sensation. And I graduated from Olavisi Onobanjo University and I studied geology. And I'm here for the digital analysis crash course because I really want to know more about the tech industry. Mm. All right, that's, that's amazing. I, I heard you say you're a creative director. So I'm trying to figure how you're going to put your mix of into data analytics. Uh, 
because actually what, what took me to data analytics is those beautiful dashboards that they normally do. And I was just thinking, how do I uh, um, um, bring in media? Because I'm actually a media person before I came into data analytics. So it's a good one, um, Alpha Ruby. I, I really do hope that um, this course is going to be um, um, one that you really, um, you get the value for, for your time. All right. So Hello, Fidel Prince, are you there? Okay, in the new afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Good afternoon. Okay, my name is um, Fidel. Then it's home. Um, so, um, apparently, I'm um, a, a market part with one uh, organization, and then um, someone has, I have interest for 30. And I would like to start with data analysis. So I just saw this, and I think it's an opportunity for me to even know the fundamentals, what it's all about, and how to move on with it. So I really want to know more about this. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Fidel. Um, who do we have here? Hi, Ayobami. Good evening. Hello, Ayobami, can you hear me? Okay, it seems Ayobami is not here. Um, hi, Olivia, good evening. Hello, Olivia, are you there? Sir, can anybody hear me? Let me know if it's from my end. Or... No, I'm here. Oh, you can hear you, sir. Oh, okay, okay, fine. Okay, yeah, Olivia, you're trying to say something. Yeah, um, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Olivia. I am a graduate of psychology from Covenant University. I took this course because um the two main career paths that I'm considering involve data analysis and I want to be equipped for when I start applying for jobs or if I should further to my master's. I want to be equipped with the knowledge so that I don't fall behind. Oh, okay, okay. Though your network was a bit cracky, but that's fine. We got we got a part of it. Um who do we who else do we have here? Um hi Paul Fitz. Good evening. Good afternoon. My name is Paul Fitt. I'm a student of Yaba Tech. Yeah, I'm a student of Yaba Tech. I'm studying SLC. So I'm a graphic designer, content creator on graphics. Presently, I work with a company, Sales Gorilla, l and the likes of them. So I'm here to learn on this data analytic crash course. Because I know I need more, like we can't learn enough. So everybody learn every day. So I need more knowledge and everything. I hope I'll learn more from this course. Thank yeah, you. right, right, true. You're welcome, you're welcome. Thank you very much, Paul Fitz. Um, hi, Josephine Amilegbe. Uh, please, I'm so sorry for not pronouncing your name properly. Hello, Josephine, are you there? Okay, it seems Josephine is not with us. Um, okay, Jimmy, Oluwa to your seat. Hi, good evening. Hello, are you there to your seat? Okay, um, Hakim Lambo, good evening. Yeah, to your um, seat. Go oh, okay. again, please. I didn't hear you. Okay, good evening. I'm okay, Jimmy Uluwateyosi. So I finished from uh, looks like Yabatek, okay. currently working. Come as again, a I think. Oh, I finished okay. from Yabate, currently working as a data entry with a business analyst. So I 
I'm taking this course to just maybe um to advance more and be able to help my boss more so that I can attain a certain position. That's all. Thank you. All right, thank you very much to your C. Um, Hakim Lambo, you want to greet Hello. the house? Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Hakim Aro Lambo. Hi, I'm currently studying, I'm currently studying um, data analytics somewhere else. I stumbled on this crash course, and as you know, the journey of data analytics is the, like an it's a never ending one. You keep on sharpening your skills. So I found that, okay, this is a crash course for three to five. And I have like free time on my hand. And I thought I joined. So that's why I'm here. Thank you. Oh, uh, I, I hope that you, you in, in the course of the um, lecture, you would also um, teach us too, because we also want to learn from your wealth of experience. I'm studying. I'm still Thank studying. Thank you very much, Hakim. Thank you. <laughs> It's all right. Hi, Damilola Opaumi. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Um, sorry, I just joined. Yeah, so I don't can know we know what... you? Okay, my name is Damilola Opaumi. Yeah, so we're I... just doing introductions. We just want to know. Okay, okay. No, I would like to hear from you. Sorry. No, so I said we are just doing introductions, right? We just want to, we just want to, we are, we are trying to get to know ourselves. All right, all right. So, like I said, my name Did is you Damlola. Get yes, I, I get yeah. you, I get you. My name is Damlola, and I got the link for this crash course through a friend because I'm interested in like doing one of these tech courses, but I haven't found which one to go for and so when i saw this i thought it would be a good opportunity to like start up and know more about it oh okay 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 all right so very good to meet with you um you. i see someone else joined hi godwin yeah you're welcome godwin nani yeah godwin nani good evening um okay so um i guess we'll just i think some more persons are joining in so i think we'll just need hello. to um hello okay hi godwin uh my yeah, name is godwin you loud and clear. can you hear me hello very can you hear well me? loud and clear okay my name is very godwin well, Nani you, from yeah my name is godwin Nani from uber state Oh, okay. Okay. Good to good to meet you, um, Godwin. Okay. All right. So um let's shoot. Let's shoot. I'm gonna share my screen now. And I'm gonna share my screen and please let me know when you can see my screen. We've can seen it. You see my screen? Yes, we've seen it. All right, all right, all right. So, my name is Iwinusa Arende Okuge. Yeah, I'm from Edo State. As you can see, I'm a business intelligence consultant. I mean, that's what I practically do virtually every day. Even on Sunday, I still consult for businesses, right? So, um, I am a um i'm a christian i'm a son i'm a brother i'm a teacher that's what i love to do most i love to teach i'm also a farmer yeah i love to farm and i'm a mentor i'm a mentee and i'm also a friend all right so that's me um um so who is the winner sir so i'm a a resolute and purposeful business intelligence analyst and uh, my core passion is to um, harness the power of data all right to drive strategic decision making so we don't want a situation whereby we are making decisions 
just because of hearsay or we are just making decisions based on he's my brother or she's my sister no but rather i want to use my my goal as an analyst is that i want to be able to make data to be the core the backbone of whatever decision businesses emphasis on businesses make all right so i help businesses both small medium and big to solve problems by analyzing and deriving insights from their own data we're not getting the data from elsewhere but from their own data for the sole purpose of making informed decisions you can see everything is just about informed decisions decision making strategic decision making because at the end of the day your business is only going to thrive based on whatever decision you make at the end of the day right so um little achievements i've made so um last year i was the lead facilitator for an mis training at the world bank center of excellence in oil field chemicals research and the intellectual property and technology transfer office of the university of port harcourt um currently the business development lead for speedlink high tech solutions in port harcourt as well um i'm currently also the project lead africa sme assembly that's the largest gathering of SMEs in Africa. And I'm also on the side, a contract lecturer in the Center, in the Center for Occupational Health, Safety and Environment at the University of Port Harcourt. Currently, I also serve as the lead trainer for Data Analytics Track, Digital Skills School, Lagos, of which you, of which is the host of this um, 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 event or this session, this lecture, right? I'm also the lead tutor for the data analytics track, Speedlink High Tech Solutions. All right. I'm also the project manager for Innovative Village Lagos. And currently, I'm also a data analytics consultant for the Deeper Christian Life Ministry for Tacot in River State. Uh, I don't know why these pictures are not showing, but I was featured on the cable news headline as the third burst in a data analysis competition. That was I was early, sorry, last late last year, yes. And I have I've published over five articles on data analytics related concepts. Okay. And this is me and the Vice Chancellor of University of Port Harcourt. And this is also me here with the Deputy Vice Chancellor of Research and Development of the University of Port Harcourt. Okay. And sometime early this year, I was a um, guest speaker at Concept Nova where I spoke on data, unlocking the power of data and leveraging analytics for effective routes management. Um, Concept Nova is a very big firm in the heart of Lagos. All right, so that's me. Uh, I'm, also, I'm also an entrepreneur. These are some of our brands that uh, God has helped us to um, fashion, all right? And hobbies, I love to teach. You can see that's the first thing here. And then I love to eat good food, emphasis on good food. And I love to network and I love to do video editing on the side. All right. I think this has changed. But yeah, the latest projects, as you can see here, is I built a yearly budget tracker for both income and expense of each department for an ICT firm. Yeah. And yes, yeah, so we can connect. This is me on LinkedIn. Iwinusa Ayende Okuge is my name on LinkedIn. And this is my email address, dinosafivo at gmail.com, if you want to reach out to me. And this is my phone number, 0701162924. Okay, so that is Iwinusa. And I'm really I'm really very hopeful that during the course of this um learning, right, we all we are going to learn together. But honestly, the in in our local parlance, they say they know they learn and finish, and that's the truth. They, they know really they learn and finish. There's much more, much more for you to learn. All right. So, um, sorry. So just to share my screen again. Um. So it's very simple, right? Like I like it's it was said. It's a crash course. We just want to tell you, give you a sneak peek into what. Uh, uh, you ought to come and learn for the eight weeks. So our data analytics course um, 
spans between um we, have, we run three three different tools yeah three different tools but one core thing is very paramount we ensure that we take our students in um sorry looks like i'm not sharing my screen yet sorry just give me a second let me sort this out um window okay all right i'm sure you should be able to see my screen now okay yeah so um i was trying to say that aside the three tools we take our students on at digi school uh, we ensure that our students are really taking through the course of the rudiments of data analytics because you can just know how to use a tool but you do not know how to to um, um, data analytics or business intelligence analytics all right so as part of the things we do here at dg school we ensure that we not only teach you some of those tools which are very necessary but then we also take the pain of showing you the way why you are using those tools when you should also use them all right so after we have taken you through the rudiments of data analytics we then start with um the course of um excel data analytics for microsoft excel and then we'll go into sql all right and from sql we'll go into power bi all right so enjoy the ride so in the next hopefully in the next less than one hour i'll just we'll just be doing a little um sneak peek into what we ought to do for the um what's it called in the eight weeks of our course all right i really do hope that i'll be seeing some of your faces when we start the um the eight weeks course right next week so let's get to business um um okay so data analytics what is data analytics i mean we've, we've been talking about data analytics everybody now they want to go into data analytics and all of that what is really data analytics so um i wrote here that it is it refers to a process it's actually a process all right or so first you have a data set you are looking at a data set you're you're you're, you're viewing a data set so data analytics is not just the dashboards no that the dashboard is just visualization so there's a process before you go towards the visualization so it starts from you looking at the raw data asking questions why is this data like this what happened how come this data is like this and then finding out error if there are errors on the data to also try to correct those data as well so you want to view that data why there's a purpose for you viewing that data or looking at that data because you want to be able to draw conclusions about the information that is contained in that data okay we have 10 people on this call there's a, a, a you've been given a sheet that says okay um there are 10 persons on the call that joins the call um five of them were male five of them were female um, uh, um, um three of them said they are from yoruba two of them say they are from Igbo. one of them says from Aosa. so at the end of the day what conclusions can you derive from that data that you are looking at do you want to say that okay at the end of the day um 50 percent of persons who attended the call or who attended the class um the uh male uh female that's a conclusion so it's, it's not fair for you to say okay um uh, uh um majority of the persons who attended the class uh who are male or who are female they are really interested in the data analysis of course that's the whole essence of data analytics you just want to draw conclusions we want to be able to to say that based on this fact based on this data this is the conclusion we are able to um, derive all right now most times we tend to miss up data analytics and data analysis they are two different things all right in the next slide 
I'm going to show, I'm going to um, do a breakdown of the different processes in data analytics. And you see where data analysis comes in play. So again, please, take, you can take this to anywhere. Data analytics and data analysis are two different things. Data analysis enables you to, you have gotten their data. They've given you, they've handed over the data to you. Now, the process, the process of taking that data that has been hand in, handed over to you to extract insights, to extract valuable insights, to say, okay, based on this, we have five males, we have five females, we have three persons from Europe, we have two persons. That process is known as data analysis. But the entire process, we have about five processes in data analytics. The first is you want to define the problem. You want to ask, why am I doing this problem? Why am I doing this analysis? So why am I doing this data analytics? And the first is finding the problem. That is data analytics. From there on, you now ask the problem. You, you now want to go find the data. For finding the data, you clean the data, and then you now do data analysis. So data analysis is part of the process in data analytics. So here I wrote the benefits of data analytics. You have for improved decision making, you have for more effective marketing, for better customer service, and for more efficient operations. And here you can see, I just um, I explained, you can see the, uh, the, the analytics process. The first is what defining the problem. After defining the problem, you want to collect the data that answers that problem you want to find, all right? So after that, the next thing is what you want to clean the data. Because there are, you, I know, you know, there are sometimes you send out a form. And when you send out that form, uh, people now, when they fill the form, so instead of writing, I think the most common one is um, uh, um, phone numbers. You tell people, fill in your phone number. And then you end up counting some phone numbers as 13 um, figures instead of the 11 uh, figures that we are known to use. So that's going to be an issue. Or sometimes uh, where people are supposed to write female or male, somebody is writing male with a double L or female with a double F. So you as a data analyst, it's your, it's your job to do what? Ensure that some of those things are actually cleaned. So cleaning the data doesn't necessarily mean that you use soap and water to wash the data. All right. So actually means that you are doing what you're <laughs> someone is laughing. It means that you're actually taking some of all those excesses, those things that shouldn't be there. All right. You're trying to take them off. So that's actually what uh, uh, um, um, cleaning data cleaning um, involves. All right. And then after you have cleaned the data, now this is where data analysis comes into play. Remember I told you that data analytics and data analysis, they are two separate entities. Data analysis is just a part of the process in what data analytics. So now that you have cleaned data, you now want to begin to draw out things to say, okay, based on this data we have, 70% of um, the persons who have enrolled in this course, they do not have a laptop. 50% say they don't have lights. 30% are saying they do not have data. So you now trying to derive, bring out those um, insights. That is the analysis process part of analytics. So analytics starts from defining the problem, collecting the data, cleaning the data, analyzing the data, visualizing. But analysis alone is just that part where after you have done some of all these things, you now begin to pinpoint and say, okay, at this point, this is where some persons are stuck or this and this and all of that. After you have analyzed the data, not everybody understands the fact that, okay, when you just write, after you've analyzed your data and you say, um, you're about 50%, nobody really understands that. Or you say Igbo, 30%. But when you now visualize your findings and share your findings and say, okay, based on what we have gotten, anywhere you see the red symbol, or the pie in a pie chart, um, 60% is male, 40% um, is for female. So based on those charts, those graphs that you're going to plot there, visualizing your findings, all right, that is the last part 
of the process in data analytics. At this juncture, I want to ask a question. Do you have any question for me? Based on what I have just discussed, please. If you have a question, kindly um, um, unmute your mic and, and and please go on so that we can uh, we can move on. Hello, anybody there with a question? Okay, looks like we don't have questions for me. So during the course of our um, during the course of the eight weeks um, uh, um, full stack course, right? These are so many things we are going to be learning: the anatomy of an insight, and what really makes makes up for um, an insight. So a good insight should ask three questions: What happened? Why did it happen? And how you should react recommendations okay so somewhere here i wrote that a good um, insight needs to tell you tells a clear story addressing what why and how is supported by hard feelings and not hard data rather not guts or feelings you you see that your business is running low but well, because your 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 elder brother or your younger brother is the one running that business you want to keep pumping money there, even when it's running low. You'll be shooting yourself in the leg. All right. So you should, your your decisions should be based on what hard data. It should be based on the data that you are seeing. I also wrote here that it should be based on meaningful context. It should deliver clear and actionable recommendations, and then drive real and measurable improvements to the what to the business. All right, so I'm just going to touch a few here. Um, well, no, okay, so these are the four types of analytics that we uh, we hope to take during that um, extensive class of eight weeks, right? So we have four different types. We have, um, 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 what's it called? The first one is descriptive. Then you have diagnostic. Descriptive is um, telling us what is actually happen, happening. And then diagnostics tell, tells us why what is happening is what is happening and then the third is what the predictive what is likely to happen in the future if you continue this route what would continue to happen or if you stop doing this what will happen in the future that's the predictive analysis and then we have prescriptive words analysis what should we do going forward we want to stop you know when when you feel you have symptoms of malaria you want to stop that what should i do to stop this malaria doctor will not say okay um take this and this and that you know to stop this or stop make sure you use mosquito nets and all of that so those are prescriptive measures so it's also a type of data analytics all right so these are also part of the things you're going to be going through in the full course like i said this is actually a crash course right so I'm going to take us to Excel. Um, so this is Excel for analytics. And I'm going to just um, show you. All right, so this is basically, this is the Excel interface, right? Um, please, I hope I'm not too fast. First, um, yeah. What's happening? Okay. So this is the Excel interface, and you can see here, the first arrow here, that's where the name of the workbook is actually saved, all right? So you can save it as with anything you choose to save it as. And then the next arrow here says, this is the auto save. If you want Excel to keep um, saving automatically as you walk in, you turn this on, all right? Then these are, this is the ribbon. Everything here is the ribbon. And on the ribbon, you have different uh, menus here that you can play around with. You have the file, you have home, insert, page layout, formulas, data, review, view, as uh, and so on and so forth, right? And then uh, on Excel, when a cell is selected, you have this green border around it that shows that it's an active cell, or it's a selected cell. And then in Excel also, you have Excel um, sheets are made up of um, and rows and columns. So columns are the one where you have A, B, C, D from north to south. 
right? Yes, from north to south. And then um, rows are from what? East to west. So the numbers where you have one, two, three, four, five, two, as many as um, possible, all right? Those are what um, the rows. So an Excel sheet is made up of what? Rows and columns. Then we also have we have the um, different, we have the formula bar here. So you can see, let me open, let me open an Excel sheet so you see this practically, right? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to share my entire screen now. Present something else, I need the entire screen. Yes, please share. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, um, okay okay now this is a dashboard this is a dashboard hopefully if time permits us we are going to touch on this all right and um okay so like i said excel is made up of rows sorry columns and rows or rows and columns whichever way you want to do that and i was saying this is the formula bar right you can expand this by clicking on this arrow here you can see it's a little bit expanded all right and then you also have the address bar here or the name box so each of these cells here they have a name they have an address just like you have your house your house has an address so each of these um cells they have the name and how they are called or how they are named is um uh, the column the column um, name and the row name. So you can see this one that I selected here is what column E, row five. And that's why you see that the name here it says what E five. Sorry. All right. So that so at any point where at any point where a column meets with a row, that juncture is called a cell. All right. So a cell is any point where a column meets with a row that is a cell. And like I said, every cell has a what an address. And for you to know that particular address, you would see it here. Because when you when we start going to formulas and functions, you need to understand that it's this name tags, this name box, or this uh, addresses that you'll be using to do it to write your formulas and your functions. Sorry, I needed to attend to something. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, so that's what um, that's the cell, and this is the address um, bar. And take Excel when you open your Excel, take it to be a a book. All right. Um, okay. So let me. This is this is. Um, let me. So. This is a book, right? And inside of these books, you have sheets. So take your Excel file to be this book. And inside that book, there are sheets. So it's the same thing you have here. You have here. This entire thing here is a workbook. It's called workbook, Excel workbook. But inside, you have different sheets. And you can create as many as you want. You can see when you add the plus here, it says sheet, two, sheet three, sheet four, sheet, and you can rename them. And in renaming, all you just need to do is double click on it, and you can decide to re rename it as, to anything. I can decide to call this, um, whose name do I use? Whose name should I use to name this? Okay, let me use, let me use, um, Adibesin. Yes. So I can come here and say, I want to name this file, this sheet to what? Adibesin. So, only the things that concerns adibation will be on these words on these sheets. I can come here and say, okay, I want to name this. Um, I think we have a Fidelis. Fidelis. Yes. So only the file for Fidelis comes to this particular um, sheet. All right. And you can, good thing about Excel, it gives you room to protect your sheets. So if you, if you right click on this, you can come here to protect and give it the password and all of that. You know so that you can protect it so if i share this file out nobody comes to tamper with my data right so 
Um, moving on. Let's see. Um, what else do we have here? Um, we talk about. Okay, we've talked about. Okay, yeah. So I wanted to talk about something. That's the field handle. So in Excel, we have three major types of um, of cursors or um, mouse. Yeah, mouse cursors. We have the select. We have the move, and we have the fill cursor. Let me write that down here. That is select. You have move, and then you have fill. Okay. So when you see this big um, cross here moving, I call this guy the big daddy. I call it big daddy, right? Whenever you see this guy around, just know it means you are it means it wants you to select the cell so if i click here you can see it gives me room to do what select so that is the select cursor however we have the move cursor now take for example this content here i want to move it to this place all i need to do is what you can see when i take my cursor to the line or to the border you can see it has moved to a four edged um directional um arrow you can see so if i want to move this guy somewhere else all i need to do is come here click on it and drag it to wherever i want so you can see that guy has left this portion to the end here or to wherever i want to move it to but make sure that you click on it when it is showing as the four edged arrows I can move this to wherever I want. However, the last but not the least is the fill handle or the fill cursor. Now, when I click on this guy, on any cell in particular, you would see a dotted, yeah, a dotted um, notch at the far right corner below, just like you can see here. So this is the fill handle or the fill cursor. So it means just like the name fill. It means I want to fill the content of this cell. I want to fill it downwards or to the right or to the left. How do I do that? So if I come here, you can see now it has changed to a smaller cross. I call this guy the small daddy. All right. So if I click and drag down, can you see what happens? If I click and take to the right, see what happens. So it's used to fill to fill um, um, the rest of the cell that you will be selecting with a particular content. All right. I can also come here now. Let me show you one magic thing that Excel does. I can come here now and tell Excel, okay, this is January. I want to fill this with February, March, April, May, June, and the like. I'll just come here. I'll still use that same fill and drag down you can see i have all at all the months of the year you can see that so you see excel is very very sweet one more thing i want to show you excel also has an ai function that works with this few too what does that mean it means that if i tell excel okay so I have here um, one. I want this to. I want to fill this in a. Is this geometric? Um, 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 is it geometric or arithmetic? I'm not so sure now. But I want to give it a pattern to follow. So if this is one and this is three, this should be five. This the next one should be seven. All I need to do is just highlight all of them and drag down. So Excel is going to use that format. It means so it understands that you added two to this, you added two to this, you added two like that, and all of that. So it keeps, you know, um, solving the math for you. And if I also come here and say, okay, this is ten, I want this to be twenty. I want so, I, so as long as I've given it a pattern to follow, I will just highlight this and drag down. Somebody trying to ask a question. Oh, arithmetic progression. Thank you very much, Mr. Inka. And by the way, Mr. Inka is one of the tutors for this um, analytic um, data analytics class. Yeah, he's going to be taking us um, 
on SQL and Power BI. All right, so he's um, fellow tutor for um, this data analytics um, course. So we really do hope that you will join us because trust me, what I'm just doing now is is not even up to the tip of the iceberg because we, we we are fully loaded for you. You're going to be working on various projects and you're going to be working on tasks and assignments because uh, the goal of the eight weeks course is, is that you become better than myself. Me, I'm still learning, but our goal is that what you become better and uh, and more proficient using these tools than than myself. All right. So um, and let me just give you small expo. At the end of our um, Excel class, right? You should be able to build an interactive dashboard like this. Let me show you one beautiful thing about this dashboard. This is this dashboard now was gotten from this data. This data is over. You can see the last thing here. The last um, the last data here is in over nine thousand nine hundred and ninety five here. But this dashboard eh, gets everything from this data. And so at the click of a button, all I need to if I want to get for 2015, the data for 2015, all I need to do is just what click on 2015. Look at the magic that's going to happen. Can you see that everything here has changed to bring out what 2015 data? And it's telling me that total transaction in 2014, rather, 2014 is 1993. And for total quantity, total quantity that was sold in uh, uh what's it called in uh, uh um in this particular store for 2014 total quantity was 7581 and total sales that was made was 479,716 dollars let's check for 2017 you can see for 2017 the figure has changed the total transaction was 3312 the total profit made in 2017 was 93,239. So these are part of the projects you're going to be doing. You're going to do this yourself. And let's see, we have different ship modes here. We have um, 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 ship modes, um, products that were um, um, shipped at first class, same day, second class, or standard class. And in 2017, if I want to find out um, the data for products that were shipped out using first class, now that I have selected 2017, I'll just come here and select first class. See what happens. You can see everything here now corresponds to what year 2017 and ship mode first class. So this is part of the things we we hope to take you through the journey. And my job is to hold you by the hands and take you through the journey to you. You get done with the rudiments of data analytics. You get done with um, Microsoft Excel for data analytics. And you also get um, um, take you through um, SQL and then Power BI. We want you to become good. I mean, good. So that at the end of the day, you can go and apply um, uh, um, anywhere and say, hey, I learned this for, the, for eight weeks. And this is the project I did. And this is what I can do. All right, and alongside, we also have a mentorship class too, as well, to also take you to ensure that you apply for, um, uh, um, you, you, you're able to apply for jobs, yeah, and you know, get certain things. Because at the end of the day, you don't just want to lend this, you want to be able to put money in your pocket, all right? So, please, we'll be respecting you during the, um, um, the full course, and yeah, so. This is for Excel, right? I'm going to go into um, just touch a little bit on Power BI. Um, so this is Power BI, right? Um, this is also a dashboard from Power BI. You can see how unique this is. I can also drill down if I want to so 2017 data. Once I click here, what's happening? Okay, it's loading. Yeah. So only the data for 2017 comes up. If I want for 2018 as well, only the data for 2018 shows up as well. So you want to um, Excel and Power BI, though Excel gives you room, um, they're actually complementing each other. So Excel would help you 
um, with little bits of, um, uh, you can do some calculations and formulas and all of that. Excel is actually known to all. It's, it's, it's pretty much um, able to, um, almost every Dick and Harry can use Microsoft Excel, right? But Power BI is a little bit more complex and it has to do with um, um, visualization, really, yeah. Though you can also use Power Query to, to do some do plus and minus and all of that, right? So we are going to, um, um, you can see we have, you'll be able to write some measures in Power BI. So you also have um, the data sets here. You, you can see um, we have measures, we have inventory, you have products, you have sales, you have the different stores. And then we're also going to take you through data modeling as well. All right. So trust me, this is not the course you want to just um, 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 lay, lay a, is, it, is it aloof now? Or a, yeah, you just want to stay back and allow this pass you by. All right. So again, um, this is just a brief, I'm not sure my SQL is, workbench is being opened here. But this is just a brief overview of what you are expecting or it's being expectant to learn in the um in the what's it called um, in the eight weeks course right so i'm just going to take us through um i want us to create a dashboard right based on we have the data and we just want to Play around and in the tech in the next 20 minutes let's see what we can do uh, from then on all right so um creating a dashboard in excel is pretty very very much easy um yeah very much easy the first thing you want to do is you want to create a pivot table to be able to draw out some of your just like i have done here you can see i have each of the reports here summarized where are you okay you can see here the total transactions the sum of quantity and everything everything here is linked to this dashboard you can see total transaction 572 total transaction here you can see it here is also 572 the dashboard if i go to 2014 and click on 2014 just watch the total transactions here it says 291 if i come to my report sheet here you can see it's also 291 so everything that's why it's called an interactive dashboard Whatever you do on one affects every everything. All right. So from the raw sheets, you can see this is over nine thousand um, data. We were able to get all of these. And you can see it's a bit. It's pretty much arranged here, like this. And then on the dashboard. So I'm going to try and create one now. The first thing you want to do in Excel is you want to take off these grid lines. And how do you do that? Go to view and you can see grid lines here is checked. So just uncheck that. And once that is, you can see we now have a blank. We now have a blank what? A blank slate. Take this guy off. All right. So you now need to start bringing your wireframes. All right. The wireframes are these guys, this guy, this, this one here this one sorry these guys all of this so you want to start drawing your wireframe first off you want to draw them in a paper to say okay this is where i want the header to be these are where i want my data cards to be these are where i want the charts the pie charts the you know and or all, all whatnot so just come here go to insert and on shapes i love to use this rounded corner guy rectangle with rounded corner you can use any one, but just try make it, let it be appealing, let it be beautiful. So come here, I will draw this. And once this is drawn, um, for colors, I love to make use of a particular site because you know, you don't want to, you want to make, I don't know, I think, was he, um, somebody said she's a creative director. Yeah, so you want to make your, your dashboard pretty much appealing. I didn't have issues um, making my dashboards you know, relatable, making the UI UX of my dashboards, because I came in from the media 
I came in from media into data analytics. I came in from graphics design. I came in from, you know, the UI UX into data analytics. So getting colors wasn't really, um, getting my dashboards look appealing wasn't really an issue for me. But there are most, um, most, most data analytics, they know the stuff, they know it very well, but they have issues with color blending. And trust me, if, if people are not able to um, uh, resonate with your dashboard, you'll be f uh, forfeiting the whole purpose of dashboard or visualization of sharing your findings, all right? You want to make sure that your dashboard aligns with your company's color, or you want to make sure that things are, are really visible to viewers. So there's one site I normally use. I'm going to give that for free, yeah? Um, that's coolers.co. Coolers. I'm getting there. Yeah, and just, just go around, go around and play with that. Please load, 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 load. Okay, so it's loading. So you can just come around here, play around. There's, there's lots, lots you can do. It. I'm going to show you how you can actually make use of coolers.co to achieve good good stuff really yeah so all right so and good thing is this is actually free you don't even need to sign up for anything you don't need to sign up oh please i don't want cookies reject or save and continue so all you need to do is come here to explore trending palettes click on this once you go there why is network down today? I want MCN, Etel. How a few are just okay. So here you can see you have different colors to play around with. Like there's one color that just entered my eye. These guys. So I would love to use this color for this dashboard you want to use. So the first thing you want to do is come here. Which one do you want to be the, the header bar? I can use say, let me use this guy. Oh, no, let's go with this guy. So I'll click on this. Once I click on it, you see it says color copied to the clipboard. Let's hope you are following me. Please, can you hear me? Confirm you can hear me. I hope I'm making sense. If I'm making sense, give me a thumbs up, please. Yeah, we can hear you. Am I making sense? Good, 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 good. Yes, good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yes, it is being recorded. Somebody is asking if it's recorded. It's recorded. It's recorded. Okay, so let's go back to our Excel. Um, come to Excel. So I want to remember we copied that color code, right? So I'll come here. I'll select my guy. I'll go to shape format. Then I'll go to shape field. Under shape field, I'll come to more field colors. And then now, see where you have this. Um, HEX. I'm going to take this off and paste that guy and say, okay. Can you see? We've been able to get what? That color. So now, all I need to do is I want to bring in my data card, right? I will just duplicate this. To duplicate is what? Control D. I'll duplicate this and resize. I'm just going to do Ctrl D, Ctrl D. No, oh, sorry. Before I do Ctrl D, I want to change this color to something else. So let's go back to our colors. Come here. Let's play around. Let's use this guy. So I'll copy this color code. Come back to here. The Excel shape format, shape fill, more fill colors, and I'll take this guy off. Ctrl V and say okay. Good, good, good. But this looks dull. This looks dull. Let's go for something a bit lighter. Mm, let me use this guy. Right. So you see, I'm taking my time to actually make this stuff look good. So at the end of the day, you don't want to go and do a presentation and they'll say, who be that guy say we just be do anyhow stuff, you know? You want to really sell yourself. You really want to, you want people to praise you. Seeing your work alone, you'll say, wow, this is really, really good. All right, so I'm just going to, I want this a little bit smaller. 
and I will take off my shape outline. I'll say no outline. Even this guy, no outline. Yeah. So I'm going to duplicate this. I think I need about five. So I'll say two, one, two, three, four, five. Now, Excel gives us, um, you know, normally what you do is you now come and start putting, arranging all of them. It won't look so fine. So the first thing you want to do is take the last one to the edge here. I hope this contains all of them. No, it won't. And so take this here, right? Then hold your control key down and select all of them. Now, what do we want to do? Come to shape format. See where you have align. Go to align. First thing you want to do is you want to distribute horizontally. So click on distribute horizontally. So you can see the spaces in between are what's equal. You don't have to start dragging here and there. Sorry. Go back to align and say align to the top. And bingo. We are good. You see how everything is now aligned. So as a data analyst, these uh, these little little things you also need to put them it's not enough to say um it's not enough to say you have analyzed the data but some of these little little things they actually make your work look what look sweet look appealing all right so we are done the next thing we want to do now is we want to bring in uh we want to bring in other frame works right so i can come here and um i think here here should be the states i really hope our time will allow us to do some of these things um so we want to bring in these guys right these guys here so we have one two one two three four five six all right so let's go you can come here and say control d and this guy should be here. So come to D, come here. And I'll just copy these guys as so a control D. Come here. Now highlight again and so say control G. Good, good, good. I think we're making sense now. I'm going to change this color to, I'll just try to interchange the colors, right? This guy can, if I come to shape format, shape field, you can see our, our colors are now, they've now been made recent colors. So I don't need to go and copy the color codes again, all right? So I'll just come here, select this guy, come here. I'll just alternate the colors, right? Just make it a little bit beautiful. Can see how you can see how looking seeing this alone, you want to find out what's actually going on here, right? So let's continue. The next thing we want to do is we want to bring in in a, a, a code. Um, what's it called? Our title header here. Yeah? Sorry, give me a second. I'm expecting I'm expecting a, a oh. all right. So so next thing we want to bring in is our title, right? So come to insert. What we're looking for now is text box. So click on text box. I want to draw draw one and come here. What should I call this? Mm, what should I call this? What should I call this? Whose name should I use? Um, all right, let me use my name. Before somebody will say I'm doing Ojula. Let me use my name. So my name is Iwinosa, right? Iwinosa. So let's say Iwinosa Farms. Yeah, Iwinosa Farms. Right, told you I'm a farmer, right? So Iwinosa Farms. So as an, as an analyst, you also want to try and check what fonts would be best suited for whatever purpose. For me, I love to use the Montserrat. So I'll just come here to the text box, to the fonts um, box, and I'll type Montserrat, right? You can see it here. I can make it bold a bit. Good, and I want to change the color to white. Yeah, and when I drag here, yeah, I don't want this white background. So I'm going to go here and say shape fill, no fill. Good, no fill. I don't want this outline too. So I'll say shape format, shape outline, 
no outline. All right, so yes, we're making progress. I'll just increase this a bit. If we know some farms, I'll just do this and come here, something like this. And I'll just duplicate this guy onto D. This time around, I'll say a yearly uh, a summary report showing profit statistics. 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 All right. So I'm going to reduce this a little bit. Make it it leaks. And I can drag this down and I'll bring it somewhere. Uh, all right, yeah, this looks good, right? Please, if I'm doing well, please give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up, give me a thumbs up if I'm doing well. Good, 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 good. If you're learning something new, please also give me a thumbs up if you're learning something new. Yeah, 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 that's good, that's good, that's good. All right, let's go on. So now we want to bring in, we want to bring in our the figure, the, the data for our tags, right? Right? So what do we do? Um, we bring in another text box, say text box. And now on this on this um text box, you can see my my beeper is beeping inside. But that's not what I want. I want I want to click on I want you want to remember I taught you about three different types of cursors. The first is what the select cursor. The uh was once again um somebody remind me somebody remind me on the chat box what's the what's the other cursor? Move good move. good move cursor feel cursor. Good 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 it shows that we are following we are together All right so. We want to use we want to use the move cursor now we're going to click here so once i click on it now you can see that it's showing that it's selected but my beeper is not beeping anymore please take note of this so i'll come to the formula bar here and say equals to so i want to reference the particular data the particular reports that i want to show here so I'll say equals to, I'll come to my report sheet and I'll say, I'll come and click this, this total transactions uh, figure and say enter. You see what happens? It has referenced that word, that cell. So it means any day, let's come back to this other dashboard now. If I click for 2016, remember this is going to change. That's changed to what 397. Let's come back to this guy. Can you see that also changed here to 397? So we want to make this actually what interactive. So we are referencing the words, the cells. All right. So moving on. If I come here, bring this guy here, reduce it, and make it centralized. I want to centralize here. Now that this is done. Uh, I'm going to take off the white background by coming here to shape format and say shape fill, no fill. All right. I don't want an outline to I'll say no outline. Good. So I'll come back to home. I don't like this color. I want to use our white color, right? I'll select white, make it bold. I also change the format, the font to my preferred font. You can see we are making sense, we're making progress. Okay, so I can come here, just duplicate this guy, and come here and say what total transactions. Transactions. Okay, I can reduce the font size to fill in. And I'll make this um move this guy. So I'll drag to suit me well properly. Okay. 
Yeah, so this makes this makes sense, right? This makes sense. The two transactions. So that's how you're going to do for all of them. You just bring in them like that till you're done. And then now I want us to bring in the different states. So there's something I did here. Something I did here. Where is it? Something I did here. So I made this to show that we have about 50 states in the US, right? But we have just 10 here because I had conditioned my 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 chart to just give me top 10 states based on profit. All right. So how did I do that? I came here and I right clicked and I said filter under filter. You can see top 10 here. So if you click on top 10, you can decide to reduce the amount to say top five or top three or top four, or if you want to be top 20, as the case may be. But for us, we decided to use top 10 and what buy some of profits. Okay, so as I say, okay, it gives me the figure as supposed. All right, so we want to bring in these guys. How do we do that? Come here and just copy this guy. Take this guy up. Remember, I told you you use the move. Also, come here, say equals to report sheets, Alabama, enter. So you see, Alabama comes up here and change the color oh what happens Montserrat okay Montserrat I love the bleach so white okay so this makes sense so I can just come here and duplicate our two right yeah, about 10 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. I can come here. The last one, remember, bring the last one to the desired stop, right? And then I will highlight all of them. All right, so go to shape format, align, align to the left because we want them to be on the left, right? So you can see all of them have moved to the left. Then I will say align, I think that should be distributed vertically, yes. So we have all of them. You can see how they are all good looking. So this one equals to California. The next one equals to Massachusetts. The next one equals to Nevada. Next one equals to, sorry, New Jersey. The next one equals to New York. And the next one equals to um Rhode Island the next one equals to um Utah the next one equals to wow our time is fast friends um Virginia the next one equals to Washington all right so I can just come here and copy the format on this one paste here copy paste copy paste copy paste copy paste all right so yo 
We're doing well, Rex. We're doing very well. We're doing well. We're doing well. So, so you're going to do the same thing for all of these, but well, because of our time, I won't touch that. I'm just going to show you touch here, touch there, so that we can be able to make progress. So I'm going to bring in a chat for say this guy. I'm going to bring in a chat from this. So how do I bring in a chat from this? Come to pivot table analyze, pivot charts. This is a pie chart. Uh, okay, no, this is a bar chart. So I say, okay, this is our bar chart. So we want to give this a name. So we can come here and say, um, this will be, this is, okay, distribution. And say, this is distribution of profit by category category yes that's it we don't need these guys all these are distractions so i'll first of all click on this guy delete that goes off this sum of profits i'll right click here come to hide all field buttons on charts click on it it goes off i don't need these grid lines so i'll click on this plus icon here and uncheck grid lines the green lines goes off. Uh, what else do I need? I'll just click on this. Cut. Come to dashboards. Come to our dashboard. Control V. Right. Now we have this guy here. First thing you want to do is go to format. We don't need the, the fill. Don't need this white background. So I'll take off. Say no fill. For this color shape field, I'll say I want it white. Yes, this guy. I want my my font it will be Montserrat. Make it bold. Make this guy Montserrat too. Make it bold. Make this guy Montserrat. Make it bold. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're making progress. So I would, I would do this. I want you white. I need you white. I need you white. Good, 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 good. So I'll reduce the size of this. I reduce. Good. Take it again. Take it away. Okay, this looks good. I can drag to the right here. Yeah. This one, so I also reduce the size. I also come here, reduce the size too. All right, this makes sense. This makes sense. Well, you can see this line here. I don't like this line. I'll click on the chart, format, shape outline, no outline. So that goes up, right? So you can see how this is. So imagine we had we have all of this everywhere. You see how beautiful this is going to look, right? It's looking what appealing. If you have your logo, you can decide to come and put your logo here. Do I have any logo I want to put here? Let me see. I'll go to insert, insert pictures, place over cell, this device. Uh what logo, what logo do I use? Let me look for any of any picture. Any picture? Can I use any picture? Okay, let me use my picture. This is me, Abby. It rhymes with our color, Abby. So select this guy. Insert. Ah, my picture is very big. Very, very big. Very, very big. So assuming this is our logo, I'll now come and put our logo here. Come and put it here. Still reduce the size a little. Come and put it here. Can decide to give it the border. Uh, be like this. Okay. Ah, this border is not fine. Oh, control Z. All right, so this makes sense, right? One more thing. A dashboard is not complete without a slicer. How do you bring in your slicer? So come to report sheets these are report sheets click anywhere here go to pivot table analyze you can see insert slicer 
click on this what do we want to slice by for us we want to slice by the other dates the year other dates here click on this you can see it here and just cut this off come to dashboard and paste this here all right so we will paste this here come back to slicer settings i don't like it on the rules i want to have four different columns so i'll come to column here and change this to four and expand this and do this and put this here and try to reduce the size you know to put here so our time is actually fast spent i really, I really want us to ask i want to ask I want some questions to come in so i mean imagine we have populated all of this you know how beautiful this is going to look right you can try to come here and put this guy here and expand this expand this bit and you can try to use colors maybe any color of your choice that fits in but yes like i said this is just a tip of the iceberg to what we are actually proposing to take you through on when you enter a full class trust me it's going to be an amazing one yes any question at this point any question tell me how do you feel how do you feel do you think it's something you want to go into do you think it's, it's something worth learning let me hear your reactions please i'm listening i'm open to please um um does anybody want to say anything? How are people leaving the call now? Idu has left. Floret has left. Um, Hakim, how's the class going? Able to pick up uh, um, the difference between analysis and analytics i was okay. also to um get that um colors website for beautifying your dashboard okay. funny thing okay. was i actually worked on this same data set i think it's from cargo yeah this yeah, was the cargo. i worked on with lucas studio i think it was last week because wow. i just entered through visualization as well Okay. So I love the way you are playing around with Power BI. I'm trying to learn Power BI also, and I saw how you have been working on it so far. It's impressive. No, oh, great, great, great. Thank you very much for that feedback, Akim. Yeah. yeah. Um, Olivia, is that Olive or Olivia? Um, tell me what what do you feel? How do you feel about so far? How do you feel about the course? What do you think? It's enlightening. I didn't start from the beginning. I didn't, so I didn't register my email on time. I just registered like by four o'clock and I came in late. But from yeah. four o'clock, I liked what I was saying. It was quite educating and insightful. So mm. for now, but I, can't, I didn't yeah. really grab it. I wish I can get the recording from this. Yeah, so sure. the recording could be made yeah. available. The recordings will be made available. Where, please? Yeah. Like, send to my email. Um, I think um, Mr. Atta would address that, but I'm sure you would get it definitely immediately. This call drops. You would get you would get that. You would get the recordings okay. to your email so or whatever much. channel you yes. use it to communicate. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Hi, Toyosi. Please tell me what's how do you feel? What's your reaction? Um, so oh. for me, I feel it's nice and so like I'm learning more, more about it. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Okay, so I'm learning more. So there was one time I was learning data analysis and it was like, I was trying to build this color and everything. And I missed, my color is just out of, out of this world. So 
now I've learned more about colors and how to build like my colors on the party and everything. So I'm learning much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. That's that's good. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Hi, Fidel Prince. Fidel Prince, can you unmute your mic and say something? I didn't come out with my system to be following what you are doing back to back. So just like um, uh, Olivia said, so we yeah. are uh, waiting for the video to be dropped here. So maybe when we get home, we can be able to try all the audience today. Honestly, it's going on very well. I like the way you are breaking down everything in the way that even a human can even understand it. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Like I said initially, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Once you once once you get onboarded in the course, the way I'm moving, I, I feel I'm moving very fast. I feel I'm very fast. But once you come on board, everything is going to be broken down in bits and pieces for you. Because it's I mean our joy is that at the end of the um of the eight weeks, you will be able to, you know go home and say yes this is what i got from the course so um hi mr cyril akata can we hear from you hello cyril are you there okay it seems mr cyril is off um who else is here um madam winifred Please, can you say a word or two? Okay. It's interesting why you come like that, but I'm afraid to me. Please, Winifred is okay. Oh, okay, okay. No problem. Sorry <laughs> about that. Yeah, it's fine. So for okay. me, um, it's interesting. Um, thank you for the color palettes. Um, at least if that's what I'm going to be taking off from today, is interesting. And then the dashboard. Yeah, why? Are you, although I need to start some steps, but I was still trying to see if I can um, recreate what you have using my own data that I have here. And um, okay, um, see, you actually made it look easy. So when you see these dashboards, you think it's something that is um, is usually wow beautiful but sitting down to try to come up with it well you made it look so easy and um yeah made it look so easy so maybe i, I might have just have to register for the course and please, continue do, please do. i can't i can't wait yeah. to i can't wait to have you on board i can't wait to have you on board. Interesting. yeah thank you very much uh winifred um who else is thank on the you. call to give us a feedback hi at the best scene Hello, Adi Bessin, are you there? Okay, seems Adi Bessin is not with us. Um, who else? Who else has not said anything? Okay, Godwin Nani, can you say something? Are you there, Godwin Nani? Yeah, hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, very well. I can hear you. Uh, I think I think the class is very interesting. Like everything is so easy. Unlike I was thinking that the class would be like so hard for me to go. Nah, nah, no, not at all. Not at all. Yeah, that's but so. that's when, one thing. But the way you break everything. That's one thing. That one thing. Try that. So we pride ourselves in holding you by the hand to make sure that um if if it is even if it is how to write a as an alphabet we'll ensure that you um learn how to write a as an alphabet. So, thank you very much thank you very much i think i think, uh, I, think I, I think i mean all right so we'll, we'll be we'll be we'll be hoping to to see you in on board we'll be hoping to see you on board so, um the what so, so, what I want to ask is okay, that, yeah the, the, that's it, like what kind of laptop can someone use like like I mean the gig and the RAM what kind of thing 
Hello? Okay. So, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. Yeah, okay. So, um, I'm actually not a um, um, a hardware consultant, but I at least I have I have a a little bit of knowledge of computers. Right, but a decent laptop, um, four gig RAM. Okay. But an SSD, an SSD ROM would be preferable. So even if you okay. have a even if you have a 256 ROM, but please let it be SSD. SSD okay. is faster. Yeah, SSD okay. will do the work for you, not HDD. Right. Right. Okay. So, 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 so that's that's the only that's the only chip I can just chip in. Yeah, but they are good. They are decent laptops you can get out there. So that can do the job for you. So I think Mr. Mr. Atta. We we'll just have a word or two to say on that as well while he closes up. So thank you very much, guys, for the time and for the listening ears. It means a lot to us, honestly. And again, the, the, the recording is going to be shared with, with us so that we can play around the you know, play around with what, what has been done. So thank you very much, and I'll be signing out. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Nosa. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And um, we hope that um, everybody from feedback we've gotten from this particular training. Um, we know that you've been able to gain something very, very valuable from this particular class. Um, yeah, so we are going to make all the information available to you um, in the various WhatsApp groups where you've gotten this information from. And of course, um, the, 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 the video is going to be available on our YouTube channel um, shortly, um, this same day today. And then um, we're going to uh, make the link available to you also on the various WhatsApp groups as well, just so that you can go over it again and um, learn as much as you can. But just as Mr. Nusa has said, what we have done here today is just like um, how like book do it. I'm like, so it's just like a tip of the iceberg it's not really um it's not gone too in depth i mean before you even get to the point of building a dashboard there's a lot of foundational knowledge background knowledge that you would have actually learned about excel or about power bi and then also you're going to also learn about sql sql is a very very fantastic tool um as well for pulling your data from databases because the data that you're going to be using on sql or i mean on power bi or on excel is going to be saved somewhere right it's going to be saved somewhere and that is a database and so that is also a very very important part of data analytics course and so um we're going to be starting the full course um next week thursday uh so next week thursday is going to be the days where we're going to be starting the full eight weeks course so those that are interested in signing up of course you have the digital skills school's official whatsapp number and once you do the course with us um the course comes with a certificate at the end of it and of course um, so, so your certificate is assured and um and that's just it so now for the schedule classes are twice a week um thursday 3 to 5 p.m um and also friday 9 to 11 p.m so now the 3 to 5 p.m class right on thursdays have the on-site option so those that prefer to learn on site and you are in lagos yes we have an office at alago meji and so you can always come on site if you register for the on-site class but of course those outside lagos or those that are in lagos but are just too busy to come for on-site classes can join the classes on google meet just like this class so and of course all classes are recorded also so immediately after each class you can also get access to the class video so um it's something that even if you were to join the classes virtually, you have access to the class videos to watch on your own, to go over what the tutor has said in class so that you can be able to do the assignments properly. And of course, in this course, there's a lot of assignments. Um, there's a lot of assignments, so you can be sure that um, you, you are gonna get um, your, your hands full when you register for this course. Now for the fees, um, let me stop live streaming first before we go ahead with the fees. Okay, so but for the fees for this particular cohort, this um, um, February um, cohort, no, this March cohort, um, is just a token of uh, ninety thousand naira. 
for the eight weeks course. So I mean, made it very, very affordable. It's a cost that is what 150,000, but um, we decided to slash it down to 90,000 Naira, just so that as many people as possible can partake of the particular of this course. So I'm going to drop our WhatsApp number on the chat box right now, 706 five two four five nine hundred this is a whatsapp only number so you can take this number can take whatsapp calls and can take whatsapp messages so for your registration um kindly send us a message on whatsapp and we're going to get you registered and then we have a special whatsapp group for the class now the class contains the two tutors uh, mr nosam mr yusuf and then of course the other students that have registered already because we have students that have registered already that in the whatsapp group already just waiting for next week and so um you would be added to that whatsapp group where you'll be giving some special information study materials and other things like that plus we have something called a job placement program after the course we have a job placement program and this job placement program is being run by um some of our um hr partners um, these guys are professionals in getting you prepared for your dream job in tech. And so this is, that is like another six weeks program, you see six weeks mentorship program where we prepare you on how to write your CV, how to build your portfolio, how to optimize your LinkedIn profile. And we're also going to connect you with job interview opportunities. We promise like getting you in the door for job interviews at least. The thing is this, just like we used to say, you can force a horse, you can take a horse to the river, you can't force it to drink water. Our duty is to get you in front of recruiters, right? What happens in the room <laughs> when you are in the when you are in front of the recruiter, that one is, you know, it's not left for you to kill the interview, right? But what we do at our job placement program is to get as much as possible, get you interviews, get you in front of recruiters, either virtual interviews or on-site interviews. You know, we do all, all that in our job um, placement program. And of course, that is, we can get more information about that um, from us on our WhatsApp platform as well. So thank you so much for your time for this afternoon. Um, we promised that it was going to be just to us. And yes, we are on time. We are on time. That's how everything is. So if you want to make any more, if you have any more questions, please reach out to us on WhatsApp and somebody always be there to answer all your questions any time of the day, even at night. Yes, excellent customer service, what you get at PV Channel Skill School. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much, Mr. Nusa, and also Mr. Yusu for joining the call and every other person that was here. We hope that um, you keep up, you keep um, staying with us and you get more updates. The next, masterclass we're going to be having is um, project management masterclass so if you have been interested in becoming a project manager that class is going to be happening sometime on the 26th of march so i think more information will be given on the whatsapp group just stay tuned on the whatsapp group and you'll get more information about the project management masterclass thank you so much and i will see you hopefully we'll get to see everybody here in our class starting next week enjoy the rest of your evening